respected dear friends day before yesterday i was just uh, presenting in front of you the message just given by swami vikananda nearly 140 years ago 130 years ago and uh, those messages are so effective so much useful and so much energizing so i thought it will be good to present in front of the young generation and also those who were young in earlier days this i am doing exclusively because many people ask what are the messages of hindu dharma to the world swami vigananda has taken all these messages from vedas upanishads ramayana mahabharata puranas and from our darshanas thousands and thousands of literature from which he could take the essence those things i am presenting to you i am continuing the day before yesterday's presentation <clears throat> infinite patience infinite purity and infinite perseverance are the secret of success in a good cause the cause of evil is our desire our desire to be superior to others and also our selfishness this disease of fanaticism is one of the most dangerous of all diseases the only religion that ought to be taught to the people the only religion that ought to be taught to the people is the religion of fearlessness it is preferable to live on grass for the sake of doing good to others the power of love is infinitely of greater potency than the power of hatred faith 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 in our self faith faith in god this is the secret of greatness if you have faith in all the 330 millions of your mythological god and in all the gods which foreigners have now and again introduced in your midst and still if you have no faith in yourself there is no salvation for you the history of the world is the history of a few men who had faith in themselves that faith calls out the divinity within you you can do anything you fail only when you do not strive sufficiently to manifest infinite power within you as soon as a man or a nation loses faith death comes it is hatred that separates man from man therefore it is wrong and false avoid the hatred in helping the world we really help ourselves defeat is the ornament the hero adorns himself with the there is only one country in the world which understand religion 
that is India. Religion is the backbone, the bedrock, the foundation upon which the national edifice has been built. Religion in India means realization and nothing short of that. National union in India must be a gathering up to of all scattered spiritual forces. The world is yet to learn from India. That is the idea not only of toleration but of sympathy also. He who can come mad with an idea, he alone sees the light. Multitude counts for nothing. A few heart hold sincere and energetic men can do more in a year than a mob in a century. The first of everything should go to the poor. We have only a right to what remains. Work. This is time for the freshest, the untouched, the unsmelled flowers alone are to be laid at the feet of the Lord and Motherland. It is reason that develops into inspiration and therefore inspiration does not contradict reason but it fulfills middle not with the so called social reform for there cannot be any reform without the spiritual reform first it is life to do good it is death not to do good to others if a religion cannot help a man wherever he may be wherever he stands it is not of much use that religion is of not much use. The man who has frightened into religion has no religion at all. Self-sacrifice indeed is the basis of all civilization. Blessed are they whose bodies get destroyed in the service of others. Spirit speaks unto spirit in silence. And yet, in most unmistakable language. First of all, you are, our young men must be strong. Religion will come afterwards. Be strong, my young friends. That is my advice to you. You will be nearer to heaven through football than through the study of Gita. These are bold words, but I have to say them, for I love you. He alone is sinner who sees a sinner in another man. Slave wants power to make others slaves. We must keep a firm hold on spirituality, that inestimable gift handed down to us by our ancient forefathers. Whatever we shall be in the future will be the result of what we think and do now. In religion there is no caste. Caste is simple a social institution. Who serves Jiva serves God indeed. All the secret of success is there to pay as much attention to the means as to the end. The brave alone can afford to be sincere. Compare the lion and the fox. We can give nothing to God. He gives all to us. The man who cannot write even his own name can be perfectly spiritual and the man with all the libraries of the world in his head may fail to be spiritual. Learning is not a condition
for the spiritual growth. Money does not pay nor name, fame does not pay nor learning. It is love that pays. It is character that cleaves it way through adamantine walls of difficulties. Beware of everything that is untrue. Stick to truth and we shall succeed. Maybe slowly but surely. Practice is absolutely necessary. You may sit down and listen to me by the hour every day. But if you do not practice, you will not get one step further. Religion is not a doctrine. Religion is not in doctrines, not in dogmas, not in intellectual argumentation. It is being and becoming. It is a realization. In the universal melody, these ideas stand out. The ideas of freedom and strength. Never lose faith in yourself. You can do anything in the universe. Mystery, mongering and superstition are always signs of degradation and of death. Therefore, beware of them. Be strong and stand on your own feet. Our best work is done. Our greatest influence is exerted when we are without a thought of self. Ritual is concretized philosophy. God is the inexplicable, inexpressible essence of love to be known but never defined. Be like a lily, stay one place and expand your petals and bees will come of themselves. You are best, you are real. When you are not, when the little self is gone, when the selfishness gone, you are best, you are real. Fire and enthusiasm must be in our blood. Great things can be done by great sacrifices only. I want iron wheels and hearts that do not know how to quake. Who makes us ignorant? We ourselves. We put our hand over our eyes and weep that it is dark. We reap what we sow. We are the makers of our own fate. None else has the blame. None has the praise. Are great thing ever done smoothly? Time, patience and indomitable will must show. Learning and wisdom are superfluities. The surface glitter merely, but it is the heart that is the set of all power. Comfort is not test of truth. On the contrary, truth is often far from being comfortable. He is an atheist who does not believe in himself. The old religions said that he was an atheist who did not believe in God. The new religion says that he is the atheist who does not believe in himself. Never think there is anything impossible for the soul. It is the greatest heresy to think so. If there is sin, this is the only sin. To say that we are weak or others are weak. These messages should be learned, should be practiced in the life so that 
we will become mentally strong, we will become physically more healthy, we will have a very strong family, we will have a strong vision on our dharma, we will have a powerful unity in the society which will lead it to national integration. For the strength of our motherland, for the strength of our culture, first the learning, then teaching others, simultaneously practicing in the life also. My pronouns to you, thank you very much.